Hello, my friend. Um, in this lesson, I will share with you how to see, start uh, an emulator and uh, a real device for testing. And also, we will enable developer debug mode on the device uh, using the ADB command line tool to install an APK package on uh, Android device and how to use the Appium desktop to open and inspect the uh, application. So the first thing that we need to open the an emulator. So you view open the Android SDK that you already installed on your machine. And then the next step, you click on the configure here you see and click on AVD manager so there are two options for you the first option that you need to uh, create a virtual device and in this option you can choose four and you can choose the four model and after you uh, click on the next and the rest steps uh, it will allow you to download the new firmware uh, and you will have a, a new uh, emulator next time you can start that emulator so in this demo i'm going to do the default uh, phone that the uh, android sdk um, created here for me so just simple click on start launch the apd so it's now launching So if you don't want to you to launch the Android SDK and then try to open your um, emulator, you can show that how to um, start the emulator Android uh, by command line. So uh, we have a uh, lots of tutorial how to start an uh, emulator from the command line and you can see and how to start it easily. But in this case, I just want to show you how it start here. So uh, because your virtual device so it may depend on your system performance, so sometimes it's a little late. So I'm using I our modules uh, also using. Um, one of a uh, real device here. Let me reflect uh, its screen for you, and you can see my real device here. Here, you can see. So, you can see on the right here is uh, the real device, and I'm reflecting its screen here, and you can see. By visor app and on the left side you can see it's the uh, emulator so in this tutorial i will use a real device but i just want to show you in case you don't have any real device so you can use um, an emulator so it just stuck so slow okay anyway uh during the time waiting for it stuck I will show you the next step. So, if you set up the Java Home and Android uh, Home in the previous tutorial, now you use the ADB device and it will list out for you the device UDID. So, this one is for the real device, my device, and this is the emulator. So, part of them are UDID. Uh, and the next step that we need to enable developer mode on your device. So you go to the setting here and you go to, let me see, um, maybe it's different based on different device. So go to about device and you go to software info. And you go to view number. You see the view number here. 
So if you didn't um, enable developer mode before, you just simply click on the few number seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And now developer mode has been turned on. So if you go back and you probably see something here in the system. Uh, maybe it's not in the explain. Uh, explain feature. No, it's not here. It's just different. Here, you see developer option here. Just click on it. Oh. And you enable USB debugging mode here. Okay, that's it. Okay. And the next step that you need to install the target application. So in this tutorial, I'm going to do the native demo app from WebDriver IO. Uh, we are going to do the WebDriver IO as a framework, not the app framework um, for our automation test. So we we use the native demo app. So you just search uh, native demo app um, web driver or GitHub. And it will list you to the release here and you can download it. Here you see. So if you go to the home page and you go to the release and you just simple click on the ABK or API in this AI OS. So in another session, I will talk about how to automate uh, this app on an iPhone. <clears throat> so download it in the download folder. And then now you need to install your app on the machine. So let me try to uninstall it first. So uh, to install the application, we just need to do the command IDB and uh, hyphen S because I have I have now two devices connected to my machine. So I need to specify which uh, device that I need to specify the command. So in this case, I'm going to install the real device. So I do hyphen S and this is the UDID and then I install and I port out the location of the API packet. Now, sorry. Should be something like AP Android app. And it's now performing installation. Success, and you can see that it's in our install on the uh, the device. So that's it. So we UIDP command to install APK Parkit, and now we are going to open the FPM desktop tool to open and inspect an application. I will show you how to do it. Okay. What's it? Mm -hmm. So you open the IBM desktop that you install uh, in the previous lesson. So after open the IBM desktop here, you just need to start the server. So basically, it will start by default app that the four seven two three here, and you start the server. It's now start the server. You click on the inspect tool here, click inspect. And now, just a minute. So you need to create a new design capability, then the FBM server know how to connect to your device and how to open the exactly application that you want to test. So I already have a safe capability here that I did before, but I will show you um, from the web web so you can understand. So here, what we have, the first thing that the platform and it's the Android. 
uh, automation name is a UI Automator 2. We are using UI Automator 2 from the Android version 4.3. And UDID.c device, UDID that you can see from IDB commands here. Okay, so this is the UDID. And the app packet and the app activity, how to get it. So if you're working in a product team, you can get this from developer. But if you are testing an application, an application that you don't have any idea about the app packet and the app activity. So just simple, I'm going to show you a very useful tips. So here you will execute a command ADB and you specify the UDID and then you do the option locket. So in this case, I will echo to five main, uh, let's, specify, let's specify the logcast file.txt. And before doing that, you need to open the application here, you see? So enter, and then you open the application, and then you just stop the command. Now you can see cat log cat file txt and you search for the for activity. You see for activity here and you can see timer. Oh, it doesn't matter. So for activity here, we have this is the app packet name. So we have the count web driver IO demo app and this is the activity the main activity so we have the, the app packet name here is com.webdriver.io demo app and the app activity here is dot uh, main activity so we may have uh, many more capability uh, but basically we just need those uh, parameters to start the session and uh, open the app on the device so after you specify this uh, capability, you can save and you can use uh, in the next time. So just simply go to the save uh, design capability first and start a session. So it will start the app your setting on your device, target this file and it will try to launch your application to inspect. Just wait a moment. Here we are. You see? It's now inspect um, your application on the Appium desktop. So maybe you don't have any idea about what is this. So we will go deeply in the next um, tutorial. So. Uh, in summary, you have just done what you start emulator, you in, uh, enable developer debug mode, and using IDP command to install the APK pocket. I use the Appium data to open and uh, to open and inspect uh, an application, and you know how to uh, uh, find out the app packet and the app activity for uh, your testing. So see you in the next tutorial. Bye.